get by It resides between my eyes Walk through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a beach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Wise here with InspiredInsider.com, where I interview top entrepreneurs and founders. And today I bumped into Eddie. He is a founder of Autoplicity and many other companies and Rejoiner.com. Um, so first of all, why did you start? Do you want to talk about Rejoiner, Autoplicity? What do you want to start with? We could talk Rejoiner. Okay, talk Rejoiner for a second. Tell, tell people about Rejoiner. So with Rejoiner, I became a late co-founder. That's kind of your semi-made up term that I like to call, but I actually joined the team and uh, I made sure to really contribute. And what I saw out of the company was it was small, but really dedicated, great software, very ambitious people. And I wanted to turn it into something that was more full service. So with this being said, we've made this huge transformation over the last four years to go from just your self-serve 50 bucks a month, you know, do as you please uh, for the e-com. What did you what did you early on compared to now? Uh, so we just let people sign up. That was it. We just let people sign up and whatever, you know, they kind of went with. What it. were they using it for? I mean, for people who don't know what Rejoiner. Uh, so Rejoiner for lifecycle email marketing. Uh, originally started with email abandonment. So that was your typical someone comes to the site, goes to cart, changes their mind, does something else, go their computer gets fried, I don't know, whatever it is and they leave, and then we help actually nurture that customer in a drip campaign, get yeah. them back. Because there's a huge percentage that abandoned. Like, what's the percentage? 70, 70 plus. Yeah, now yeah. it's even higher. Yeah. So now we do both. Uh, and when I say both, we do it before the purchase and after the purchase. So we help, and then there's some browse abandonment that's on coming really? on board. So how do you do it before? Before, it was just one. Okay. It was just for abandonment side. Yeah, now yeah. it's for both. Yeah, yeah. So... It works out pretty nicely, and where we really specialize in is we've built this team that is a group of, I would say, fully hand-picked, cherry-picked experts, uh, including myself on it. And we no longer just... Because you're also a client. It's not like... Right. Yeah, this is the hair club for men thing. Right, yes. Yeah, so I actually, I started, my story uh, was, I actually started with them because someone tipped me off. And we use them for Autoplicity and for my other e-commerce site for TH Motorsports. And I love the service a lot. I love the founder. I mean, you know, he was just super helpful. Did a ton of our creative free of charge. I mean, this was a $30 a month, $50 a month solution. And I had the founder doing the creative side. And I just, I saw this. You can't beat that, yeah. Yeah, and I just saw that it would just keep growing. Uh, as long as we offered a big service offering to it. Yeah. So now... We completely take on all the effort. Uh, we kind of consider ourselves as a marketing extension. So you can literally bring us on for a couple of months. We're month to month, very simple. If you don't like us, fire us. What are the biggest value you find your customers report they get from it? Uh, so this is something quite interesting. Our target range is about five to 50 million in regards to revenue of a client like that. And you know, I fall into that same aspect as uh, from my e-com companies. And what we find a lot of times is people don't have the time or a really robust marketing team to actually build out any type of segmentation, test it, et cetera. So they're really strapped. And what they end up doing is they don't contact their customers consistently or properly. So they're not really doing anything after the buy or even before the buy. Yeah. So people forget about them and then everyone worries, oh, well, they're just going to go to Amazon next time or someone else. We help them retain customers for as long as possible. So that LTV starts yeah. to grow. Yeah. And that's where we've seen from our customers who get really happy from the fact that it's all brand new revenue and they go, I can't believe that I wasn't doing this before. Right. There's no way they're going to go off the platform once they see the huge value that they get from it, right? Yeah, and there's no. So what's the what's one of the big success stories from people coming on board with Rejoiner that that you can remember? Um, well, we have a client, one of our best clients. Uh, they're a company called In the Swim, 
and they are in the they sell pools uh, they sell anything that has to do with the outdoors when it comes to water sports uh, we help them grow and they own multiple entities we had this great relationship they're actually Chicago based and we've just been able to you know they have a lot of traffic on their site and they really weren't doing that much other than the standard news email send like you know let's just use MailChimp like they have to sign up for an email newsletter and do it that yeah, way but nothing beyond that simple. right and now we've built this really segmented targeted campaign that works on every single one of their stores pre and post purchase and just the revenue numbers have been outstanding so they are enthralled with what we do and we try to find partnerships like that where we can bring a lot of value to the client yeah. so when someone start type you know into their site types you know and then they abandon it, they start typing the information that's where rejoiner one of the huge selling points of rejoiner comes in they capture that so they can remarket to that that customer exactly so that was our you know and still is to most of the extent our bread and butter uh, it's a technology that no one really looked at about four or five years ago. Now it's very prevalent. You know, you have the Brontos list tracks uh, doing something very similar. But that was something that no one looked at beforehand. And it was this huge opportunity source because even at that time, abandon rates were in the 60 plus percent range anyways. Right. I mean, you see these, how do you see these big companies getting, like you said, getting into that? But obviously there's a differentiation. Uh, with Rejoiner, so what is what is that that you know for founders who are looking to sign up for a Rejoiner? Yeah, so interestingly enough, uh, I've been having some conversations here at IRCE with a few different e-commerce platforms, and uh, you know, pardon my French, but I put ourselves out there as that we give a shit solution, <laughs> and this is something that we've seen is um, we had some customers migrate over to us because of our service level, mm -hmm. and that's what we really believe in. So. We change as a company uh, from where we were a long time ago yeah. to now when we onboard a customer, we not only do all of the creative, we do all of the testing for them, we build campaigns, we build segmentation. You're like an outsourced full solution, it's sort of. This is a marketing extension. So let's say your company has 50 employees, right, doing 20 million. This is a chance for you to bring on an entire team that does everything for you. And on top of that, we usually, after we set up an experiment, we come to you and tell you if it's doing well or not, and we'll revise it on our own. So we are literally like a hired marketing team yeah. that will so build. So the sweet money. spot is a five to twenty million dollar company. Five to I'd say five to fifty-five to hundred. We do have some significantly larger clients like Guess, um, but we do really well with e-commerce companies that are yeah. right in that sweet spot range where the really larger companies, from a SaaS perspective, won't really look at them. I uh, won't devote a big team, and then at the same time, they're not small enough where no one's really paying attention, and they're working with something self-serve. So we're right in that really nice sweet spot where you communicate with us every day. I don't know. I, I'm a big fan. Yeah. Kind of built this from all of my experience and right. growing pains as a e-tailer, and just going one SaaS company after another and just being disappointed where there wasn't that much interaction, there just wasn't love. Yeah. And I said, let's build a company that we actually care about our clients. So maybe the give a shit mentality is where we come from. So, Eddie, obviously coming from the rejoiner side, you've built several highly successful e-commerce companies as well. What's one big tip or lesson for e-commerce founders that they should be doing to help with their growth? Wow. Just some, yeah, sum up all your experience in one. <laughs> I mean, what's, what's the, the small hinge that swung the big door for you? What was one of those things that just a, something small that produced a huge amount of results uh, for you as an e-commerce founder? So kind of to answer, to answer that question, uh, I always tell different clients or just clients in general that there is no silver bullet. Yeah. Um, our growth, and I remember when we were stuck at about 10 million, I thought, okay, I wanted to hit this level. And as many years ago, I was like, oh my God, if we could hit 10 million a year in revenue, it's going to be the greatest day of my life. Well, we hit 10 million. And I said, you know what? How much harder is it going to be to get to 30 or 40? And what it, the big change that it did end up taking to make that 
was to expand our horizons. So yeah, what do you mean by that? On our customers. Yeah. So the big upswing that you mostly see when companies really start to rise, yeah. that's going to be in the branding side because they're treating their customers right. So if you could do anything well, make sure that you're really taking care of your customer from start to finish. And that's going to be so the big... big a big change from 10 million on up to 20 or 30, it goes back to the fundamentals of taking care of your customer? Yeah, I mean, I think every company has pretty much done that. Anyone who you see around here, you know, other than those who you know just raise money and uh, spend it on marketing, really taking care of your customer, that word of mouth, and especially in our industry, in automotive, you know, we're dealing with enthusiasts day in and day out. They talk to one another. People go to car meets. They race together. I mean, it's... It's just explosive when a whole group of people start to ta have chatter that's positive about you. All right. So where should they check out? Rejoiner.com? Uh, so for the software side, Rejoiner.com. Uh, for anyone who's listening who likes cars and wants to build their truck, replace parts, whatever it is, uh, Autoplicity, Autoplicity is going to be the site to go to. From IRC in Chicago, thank you. What I got can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire. Came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand.